Hello everyone. Welcome back to OECS 195 Java Programming NMSU Grants. Let's talk briefly about Hour 4, page 53, and specifically importing of libraries, Java class libraries. So uh, the first thing let's go ahead and do, let's open a new REPL. Let's and we're going to name this, which will be similar to what you're working on, but not exactly. So follow along, pay attention, um, but it will not be the assignment as we've done before. I'm just going to call this import lib. And of course, you always want to get in the habit, 195, OECS 195, with your name. Excellent. All right. So if you look on page 54 of your textbook, and that's listing 4.3, which you will be recreating, um, it deals with the import uh, function to add a Java library. So let's look at this. Let's go ahead and do it. Remember, we do not need to include the package. So we'll start with import. And we're importing the java.util.star. And what that means is we want the library that is java.util.everything. That's what the star means. It's a wild card. It means just go ahead and bring everything. We could say random. Uh, in this case, we're working with a random number generator. All right. So we want to import that library. The next thing we need to do is we can do as we we would. We have our public class or our class. We'll call this main. We'll do our curly brackets. We'll go ahead and add our public static oops, void main string box args Actually, I'm going to call these Zacks just to show you that it works. It's not going to change anything. So let's go ahead and save it. Let's run it. Notice everything runs fine. That means the import was completed. That instead of using args, I told you in a previous video, you could call it anything. That's what we're demonstrating here. <coughs> now, what we want to do is create a random number. And we do that by contacting or connecting to the random class. And that is done by capital R, random, and then we name it. And in the textbook it calls it val, uh, what is that, value? Uh, no, excuse me, it calls it generator. We're just going to call it uh, gen. Let's call it Ramgen, even more exciting, is equal to, and what we want is a new random. That's the whole point of what we're trying to get here, is we're trying to get a new random number. Now the interesting thing is that we have created a variable that is associated with the object random using the class random. You will see this pattern a lot. A class capitalized where it's repeated at the end and you're uh, instantiating a new. Okay, It just says we're creating a new object. We're assigning that to random gen and it's in the class of random. Remember when we had a string, we had string here, the text here was assigned to the variable that was in the class string. Same thing. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and do an int and that int, so we want an integer, we're just going to call it number, is equal to, and here we want to assign it to this, right here, this object ran, oops, uh, oops, ran gen, I accidentally deleted there, ran gen, and what do we want it to do? We want dot next int. Now, you will see situations where you have next double, next character. There's a whole lot of options, okay? One of the habits I want you to get into early is to test often and test soon. 
We've already tested twice. Now notice we've got this error. And we look at it and we say, well, wait a minute, what's the problem? All right, do you see a problem? So we have random, which is ranjin. Are you looking? Do you see it? So notice it tells you in the debugging, int number ranjin can not find symbol. Well, what that's really saying is, hey, this variable name isn't found. So let's look at it again. Random rand gen rand gem. Have a typo. Again, that's how you use that um, debugging screen. And it tells you line six, right here, line six. See, that was the misspelling. So we run it. Ah, uh, yes, everything is beautiful. We can continue. So what we want to do is uh, we want to now print out the random number. So let's look at this. First, we create the variable that points to the new object. That's a random class. We then take that random uh, uh, class or that random variable of the object here, and we tell it we want the next int, and we want to assign that, that is in fact an int, called number. Now, if this was next double, what do you think this would be? If you said double, you're right. All right. So this number is going to be our random number. So let's look at that and make sure. Print line. And what we need to do is type number. Now, do we put quotes or no quotes? If you said no quotes, you were absolutely correct. Why no quotes? Because we want to print the variable number, not the word number. Let's just go ahead and look at it though. If you had said quotes, how does that work? Well, if we put quotes around it and we run, we get the word number because we put quotes around it. Remember with variables, there are no quotes. So let's run it. Excellent. Now we have this number. That should be a pseudo random generated number using the class random. How can we test it? Well, let's run it again. Negative 1959.64, negative 1368.78, negative, okay. We can see, oh, finally a positive number, that they are different each time. Hypothetically, if you were to plot all the numbers, they should come out randomly distributed. All right, so this gives you an idea on how to import, how to use the random uh, generator in this case. So it should provide us with a uh, good starting spot for using random numbers. All right, great. Well, I hope this answers your questions. Happy coding, and until next time.